large snake suddenly appeared in front of the man. The man was so scared that he closed his eyes tightly and didn't dare to breathe. But to his surprise, the snake just gave him a kiss on the forehead, then it slowly retreated again. The man took a closer look and realized it was the same little snake he had saved years ago, 10 years ago. The man found a snake egg in a cave. He took it home and incubated it carefully. Soon the baby snake emerged from its shell. It was then that the boy realized he had rescued a very rare golden and silver python. He saw that it had such a beautiful pattern on its body. The boy couldn't get enough of him. He named him Lisa, but it didn't last long. Daniel's father soon found out about the snake. The father was very much against the idea. He was about to snatch the snake and kill him, but Daniel was quick to run. He escaped from the house just in time to protect his beloved snake. Daniel went to the river. He was about to release him back into the wild, but the snake loves Daniel. He wouldn't leave. The boy was ready to let him go anyway. Just then, there were shouts from the villagers behind him. They were all looking for Daniel. But just then, a strange scene occurred. Small snakes were suddenly crawling out of the water. They were slowly approaching the crowd. Lisa, in order to keep Daniel and the villagers out of harm's way, she turned around and went back into the water. With Lisa gone, all the snakes on the ground returned. Ten years had passed. Daniel had grown up to be a big boy and became a biologist to work on an anti-cancer drug. He returned to the cannibal island with his team. One expert said, the island is full of exotic treasures. Any one of them is worth a lot of money. And the most precious of all is a plant called golden seal. If we can extract its genes, the secret of immortality will be found.